hello and welcome to today's video so in this video we're going to be going over some netflix shows that are based on books that you might not have known about so we obviously have some more obvious ones such as like shadow hunters bridgerton shadow and bone the queen's gambit 13 reasons why and most recently heartstopper but for today i'm going to be going through some that you might not know were actually based on books or at least i didn't until i started looking into them a little bit more so yeah let's uh, just get straight into it one of us is lying is about five students who go into detention but only four of them make it out the death is ruled an accident but the person who died was about to release some very juicy things about the four other people which kind of makes all of them suspects and they all have secrets that they want to keep the book came out in 2017 but it wasn't adapted and came out by netflix as a series until 2021 currently there is only one season but it will be getting a second orange is the new black is a very popular tv show that came out in 2013 it follows Piper as she gets convicted of crimes that she committed 10 years ago. We follow all of the drama and the ongoings that happen as she goes to prison and for the time following. But did you know it was based on a book and it's actually based on a memoir by like the real Piper? It's about her time money laundering, drug trafficking, and then also follows her time like during federal prison, which is the main part that we get from the TV show. The book was published in 2010, and the TV show went on to make seven seasons out of it. The Witcher TV show now has two seasons, and it originally aired in 2019. We follow Geralt, a solitary monster hunter who also has supernatural powers and this tv show was actually based on a six book series where there's five main books but also 15 short stories all with like the same premise as the show and how the show is unfolding and the books themselves were actually published between 1986 when the first one was published and 2013 when the last one was published and the book series is complete, so if you don't want to wait for the show, you can go and binge them all now. Tiny Pretty Things is based around a ballet school and an attack on the star student. It's had one season on Netflix that came out in 2020, and it's based on the books of the exact same name. Tiny Pretty Things, the book, came out in 2015, and there was also a second book in the series called Shiny Broken Pieces so there is potential for a second season of the tv show and right now it hasn't been announced if it will be continuing or not the last kingdom has five seasons all of which are out on netflix they originally came out between 2015 and 2022 but they are all there to watch now and it wasn't until I was looking into potentially watching this show that I found out that it was based on a book series it wasn't very obvious at all the book series is known as the last kingdom series with book one being called the last kingdom and the book and tv show both follow the story of Uhfred in the 9th and 10th century in england and it's kind of how the different kingdoms and lands were being set up and fought over and like how all of the land was being divided throughout the country then we have a very popular show that came out last year which is behind her eyes this was such an interesting story following a young mother who starts having an affair with her psychiatrist boss but also goes and befriends his wife and there is a book of the exact same title that came out in 2017 and i haven't actually read the book for this one yet but if it's anything like the show and the different like twists and turns and the big twists that we get uh i'm really excited for it then we have sweet magnolias this is a show that follows three middle-aged women who have family struggles and career struggles and friendship issues and like various ups and downs but at the root of things these three women are best friends and that is the main thing that pulls this all together 
The show first aired in 2020 and already has two seasons with rumours of a third. And the main premise of the show is based around an 11 book series by Cheryl Woods known as the Sweet Magnolia series which was published between 2007 and 2014. Firefly Lane is another show that is based around friendship and it follows Tully and Kate and their friendship and ups and downs over 30 years. Right now it only has one season that's out on Netflix but it has been renewed for a second. There is also a two book series. Um, it's based on book one, the what's out so far. Book one is called Firefly Lane, same title, and it was published in 2008. But there is also a book two called Fly Away, published in 2013. You is a very popular TV show that I'm sure most people are aware of. We follow Joe, who is a stalker, and we follow him looking for romantic endeavours. I'll leave it as that. But did you know that the book You was published in 2014 and it also was followed by book two, Hidden Bodies, in 2016, so also before the show came out. And since the success of the show, there's also been a book three published called Hidden Bodies in 2021. And I believe that all three books very closely follow the same scenario as each season in the TV show does. And last but not least, we have Trinkets. Three teenagers become friends through meeting in a group of shoplifters anonymous. That's the entire premise, but somehow it's really interesting. <laughs> season one, it came out in 2019 and it is based on the book of the exact same name published in 2013. So, that was all of the TV shows based on books that I have for today. If you'd like more like this or have any other suggestions or know of any other TV shows that might surprise me, please do leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like, subscribe down below for more content like this, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!